And you want to make sure that the tool, the face, the face of the tool never touches rock. Okay, so it's because if it, so it's supposed to only go above. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's the point of the set screw. Is that if if the, if you screwed this down and it touched the rock and you started to try to rotate it, you would grind the face of this tool against the rock and probably break something. So it's, it's, there's a set screw inside, oh, okay. limiting the depth to which you can screw it down. I would prefer it on the outside. No, it's inside. So, so do you ever have a where the shaft is just simply not long enough, where it's inevitable that it will be scraping on the rock? Yeah, and in that case, what I would do is to attach the puller tool and pull this and, and make it slip out of the rock a little bit. Because it will slip maybe an eighth of an inch right. before it really binds up. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't break it, and so I'm not going to put full force on it, but I'll pull it out enough yeah. to get enough threads that I can spin. It'll give you enough yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, there's two modes on this. There's you know, regular drill mode, and there's hammer mode. What we're going to do is to put the drill on, and we're going to use the hammer mode to, because it, it actually has a piston in there that, that knocks the bolt. And as soon as it starts to turn, we're going to switch over to drill mode. You don't want to just lean on the drill, because when it starts hammering, it'll go in deeper. And then this wheel touch the rock. So you're just holding it steady. You're not pushing it in. You're just holding it where it is, and you're letting the hammer do its work. You're just going to tap on it as if you were, you know, had a hammer going, you know, da 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 and that will loosen the, the collar enough to let it start to turn. Okay. We're also going to squirt water in it. This is some water with a little bit of a grit in it as well. There's a, a um, it's a jeweler's um, 600 grit uh, uh, grinding medium, which will help with what we're doing. So, see if you can get it to uh, turn. You're not pushing in. You're not pushing in. So. It's gonna fight back, and what? Yeah, don't push in. So, but but it turns. Yeah. So now you can switch that to uh, rotary mode. Okay. And now you can pull just a little bit and turn it. So go. Don't pull very hard, but pull just a little bit of outward pressure. You're not trying to pull the bolt out. Okay. You want to leave it in place so that you're scoring a very defined edge okay. on that wedge. So pull out a little bit, but keep a little it in yeah. the same place. You're trying to damage that wedge. And you can pull just oh, gently pull out on it just a little bit and it'll bind up sometimes. You can stop. Um, you can pull back a little bit more because I can tell you I haven't generated a ton of heat, or otherwise we'd see uh, steam coming out of there. Okay. So pull back a little bit more. A little bit more. And that's probably enough. Okay, you stop. And so that's probably damaged it enough. You can see the water is boiling, or it was a second ago. Um, if you if you go much longer than that, you can denature the metal because you'll you'll get it above 1400 degrees. The metal will turn you know you'll see bluing on the steel if you successfully get it out. But you, you're changing the, the the tensile strength of the steel if you get it cherry red. And so it's not a good idea to just sit there and, and go for a minute and a half. You know, so it's, it's, 10, but 10, it's 15, getting up to like a few hundred degrees. Yeah, it's probably getting close to a thousand. I mean, really? Yeah, you, wow. it, I've seen it get. I've seen them get. You know, where they're glowing, <laughs> and you know they got that hot after the fact when you get it out and you can see the blush along the steel, just as if it had been flamed. You know, where where it goes through different colors. Yeah. And so I've I've, I've had bolts that I've spun and I've taken them out and they're blued at the end. And so uh, if you go to a, a welding textbook, you can look and, and see what the different colors look like depending on what temperature it got to. Um, and what that means in terms of how you change the metallurgy here. So, long and short of it, is don't go for more than 15 seconds or so spinning, uh, and, and especially if you're pulling, because when you pull out pretty hard and you're spinning it for that long, it gets too hot, and you'll you'll fail later in the process because the bolt will break. So, would you do would you go 15 seconds, pour in some liquid? 15 seconds, pour in some liquid. Yeah, and make sure you wait until the boiling stops before you start again. You're wanting it to cool back down. Um, and what we've, we've probably damaged this bolt enough with those little bursts to pull it out with any puller of our choice and it'll come out successfully. So, um, so now, 
what we can do. Um, this this puller, we don't have to remove it from that stud right now. We can actually s screw either that tool or um, this tool directly onto this coupler nut and start pulling. Um, which one would you rather use, the, the hydraulic one or the homemade one? Okay. So um, this is the doodad tool. Well, I think the kids have those. Because it's hard to unscrew it because the bolt is loose. And there's nothing for you to grab onto unless you get needle nose pliers underneath that gap to hold on to it. So what we have to do, yeah, what we have to do is to um, use two wrenches and take this part off the coupler nut. Okay. So um, this is just an acne threaded rod with a thrust bearing and a nut. And the end of it has been tapped to fit that. So we'll screw that on. Oh, well, yeah, no, that would be a problem. I'll let you do that. Yeah. Use this if you like. Do dad. Jason came to that. I designed it, but. Uh, that's a cool design. I made it as simple as possible and cheap as possible. Outside the need to be. No, just enough so that it's enough threads on it so it won't strip. So, um, from here, you just need that. Do that down and, and you'll start turning. And then I'm just cranking this, and that's mm -hmm. that's just pulling out. Yeah, and you want to you want to don't want to lean on or let this base turn. So the, the least that's not for utilities. No, that's minions. that's for not dropping it off the cliff when it's hanging. Right. Okay. And then the cylinder Yeah. Yeah. This is five eight eight, and so eight revolutions per inch. Which is a very fast spiral, which means you got to put a lot of force into it. It does not have a ton of leverage um, because you can get 20 and 24 threads per inch in this in this diameter, and you'll have a lot easier time of it because of so much leverage. But you also have to do several hundred revolutions of your wrench. This is fast, um, and they're really beefy thread. That it's. Uh, Trapezoidal threads like this are, are made for high tension, high torque. Um, you do have to keep them greased, which is why I got grease all over my hands now. Um, but um, I like the fact that it's very fast. Um, yeah, kind of heard a crack in there. Yeah, you can hear the rock, the grit. That bolt's already come out, at least it is. Yeah, yeah, it, it's sliding now. You're winning. Oh, there we go. With that. So, take a look at what you got. Look at how it was damaged. Yeah, a little bit of a rock blow out right there. But for me, is that like charged with the uh, the bolted salt? Or is no, that salt the bolt the bolt's on there. Okay. So let's look at look at the uh, the bolt. And so you can see that. Not a huge difference, but it's enough. You can see that there's an edge. Right so, there. So, so while I was spinning it there, that's yeah. You can feel that edge of the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. Because before it was all this smooth. It was all perfectly a perfectly smooth wedge, and now it's got enough damage that it catches right there. And I'll let you guys slide that cone and that uh, sleeve, and you'll 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 feel it catch. And 